Have you ever thought about making your New Year's resolutions and then never doing them ever again because you realize you're never actually going to continue to do them? That's me. I never really do New Year's resolutions, and here we are. I did not make them for 2024. Hello, everybody. This is That Manga Dude, and welcome to the good old-fashioned... <laughs> What am I going to do in 2024? And also, my updates from 2023. So I thought it'd be really interesting, I, I, I guess. It would be really fun to go over all of the goals that I set myself for in 2023, way back in that video at the beginning of January 2023, where I was talking about my goals, my what I was going to do, make some changes. So see, this is kind of like a update video, like what I'm going to do with the channel in 2024 and a variety of other kind of pointless information, uh, <laughs> but I, I hope you find it interesting. Obviously, this is not going on in my typical Sunday release, so this is like a kind of like a spur of the moment video. It's not going to be like my typical videos. It'll be a little bit more nonchalant, kind of like just spouting some information, content, and stuff like that. And big thank you to everybody who keeps watching because honestly, it means a lot. So let's go into my goals from 2023. So I set four ish goals uh in 2023 so the first one that i set was hit 1000 subscribers and at the time i said it was gonna be easy and um it, i mean eventually i got it it was great it took a few months but uh yeah really cool i hit a thousand subscribers i am so proud to have hit a thousand subscribers and also hit 2000 subscribers i was actually looking at my numbers april 30th is when i hit a thousand and December 9th is when I hit 2,000 subs, and I ended the year with 2,109 subscri um, subscribers. So thank you so, so, so much for letting me hit that goal. I really, really appreciate it. It has been amazing to make these videos for everybody. It has been a great time. Just doing content in general has been really fun for me. I, I found it to be a nice, uh, just kind of like way to let out my creative juices and or like let out my that's uh, a weird way of saying it <laughs> allow me to use my creative my creativity in a different way because um, as some of you probably know and if you don't uh, I did go to school for art uh, for um, I was doing animation kind of um, animation adjacent stuff uh, and I graduated with a degree in that too uh, so yeah, I really, really do like doing art. I really like drawing and stuff like that. I just haven't done it in a while. But kind of, I uh, was kind of burnt out after school, and a lot of other things just kind of culminated where my wrist was hurting a lot and just having a lot of pains with it. So after uh, a break of it, I was just like, what if? What's another way I could use my creativity in a different way? So um, manga has always been one of my biggest passions, as you could clearly see. <laughs> uh, so decided to go into um, making content, and it has been an absolute joy. There really hasn't been any video that I've regretted making maybe some ones that I would probably want to go back to just because it's like oh I've gotten a lot better at this or I've gotten my idea identity of how I want to present and stuff like that so there's a lot of things have changed but uh, yeah absolutely wild that I was able to hit a thousand and two thousand subs in one year it's been an amazing ride thank you guys so so much for allowing me to hit that first goal Going into the second goal of 2023, I said that I was going to make more list videos, and uh, it was mostly true. I made, I made a few. <laughs> I made the top 5 blue manga, obviously I did my top 20 manga, I did my top 10 manga of all time. Uh, so yeah, I so actually, I, I would say I definitely put out a lot more than my first year on the channel, so uh, kudos to me. Um, they're pretty, they did pretty well. I, I wouldn't say like they're the most, uh, the best videos I've had on my channel, but that's okay. Uh, honestly, it's just uh, really great to have it been made, and for people to enjoy it and comment on it, really appreciate it. It's been awesome. And a third one was the FEI changes, so that's still true. I still have made uh, my FEIs from instead of just doing one volume I do a variety of volumes and then rank them at the end it seems to be more successful it seems that more people tend to like it better that way so I will continue to do that so yeah three for three and this is where it gets a little weird <laughs> so the fourth one I said that I was gonna finish Soul Eater, Eye Shield 21, and Slam Dunk and lo and behold I only finished one of those I actually completed collecting and finished reading all of Slam Dunk last year so really happy that happened I'm glad that I finished it off Eye Shield 21 unfortunately <laughs> did not go any further than what I already had so that's I guess unlucky. It's just how it is. Uh, and then for Soul Eater, uh, we're getting there. We're, uh, I, I think I'm at volume 15 as of last year. So I have 10 more volumes until I'm done with the series. So most likely that goal will be finished at some point in 2024, just a little bit later than I expected. But that's totally 
okay. <laughs> I don't mind that at all. You know, uh, my collecting habits are mixed. Sometimes it's like, oh, I'm going to collect this specific series over and over again. Or, oh, I'm going to collect a variety of series and just kind of go for whatever. Um, but, yeah, I think I'll focus more and hone in more on getting Soul Eater this year so I can finish it off uh, and officially complete three and two-thirds of the 2023 goals. So, you know, uh, looking back on it, three and one, three and a third out of four is pretty good. Uh, I'm actually pretty impressed with myself that I managed to keep those goals uh, and finish them. So, yeah, let's get in to my goals of 2024. So... First up, I want to hit 4,000 subscribers. I know that's a little bit more, um, not anxious, rambunctious, uh, ambitious maybe. Um, yeah, it'd be cool to hit 4,000 subscribers. I don't know if it's possible, Well, we'll see, you know. Um, my channel saw some crazy exponential growth throughout uh, May all the way until the end of the year. So maybe I'll have that same kind of exponential growth, especially because I've passed that 1,000 subscriber threshold, which seems to be one of the hardest parts uh, to do in YouTube. So uh, yeah, I guess I'll keep doing that and we'll see what happens. Next up, I want to try to get 3,000 volumes. It's most likely going to happen. It's kind of inevitable at this point. I think I'm at like 2,882 or somewhere around there. Uh, so I'm really, really close. And I highly doubt that it's going to take me the entire year to get 180 volumes or 120 volumes uh, just because and that's just how it is. Uh, but yeah, it'll be really exciting when uh, it gets there. Next up, more reviews. Yes, uh, the Degree Man one was so much fun to do. I had such a great time filming that video, reading up, doing my research, making the notes. It, it was just a grand old time. It was a her 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 Herculean? Wait, Hercules? Herculean effort. There we go. It was a Herculean effort uh, through and through, but man, it was so worth it. And I'm really glad with the response. People have been really excited to watch it. And a lot of people keep commenting on my manga collection video and being like, oh man, I'm surprised you feel that way about Degree Man. And I'm like, well, <laughs> that opinion has changed officially. So I always have to like send them to my Degree Man video. And it makes me so happy when they're like, ah, oh, yes, see, okay, so you do like it now. And I don't know. I, I, I like the joy of being able to do a full review of manga series, so I'll probably be doing more of them uh, this year. Let's see if I can do two to three. That would be kind of cool. Uh, we'll see. Maybe do a smaller <laughs> smaller series, because The Great Man was pretty long. Um, so maybe some shorter series, and I'll do like a full review of those. I think that would be pretty fun. Number four. Maybe a collab video. I have this is I have a question mark on this one in my notes, and the only reason I have a question mark is because like I have wanted been I've been wanting to do a collaboration with a variety of manga people, but I'm just like I don't know how to explain it. Shy in a way. I'm like kind of shy in the fact that like I don't know how to ask them. Uh, I know it's as easy as just like DMing or sending them like you know a post on Twitter or whatever. But like I don't know. I'm just kind of goofy. I'm like really bad at using social media other than YouTube. Like Twitter. Like I there will be days where I'll post multiple posts in a row, and there will be days where I post literally nothing. So like <laughs> I'm not the most successful uh, social media person other than. On YouTube. YouTube is the only one I'm very consistent with. I have a very specific schedule, uh, recording, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, everything else, I'm like, me, 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 me. So hopefully this year <laughs> I get a little bit more um, ambitious, a little bit more courageous, and just ask the people, hey, you want to do a video with me? Let's do a collab video. I think it'd be really fun. Uh, to be determined on who is going to be in that video, but hopefully it's some cool people. And last but not least, <laughs> I have another finishing collecting section. So for this one, I have Soul Eater once again, like I mentioned, uh, 2024 goal, finish off Soul Eater. I literally only have 10 volumes. They're still in print for the most part, so it shouldn't be too hard to finish off. I say this now, but we'll see in December if I'm being a fool or not. Next up, I want to try and finish Ajin, um, or Ajin, I don't know how to pronounce it, but Ajin Demi-Human. This is a series that people have been telling me to go read, and I have read the first couple of volumes, and I really, really enjoy it. I'm just, like, kind of goofy and silly about it. I don't know how else to explain it. I'm just, like, really slow about collecting it, and I don't know why, but definitely will try to finish that this year. 
And my, I would say my wild card, my most likely it's not gonna happen, but it'd be really cool if it did, is Kakaishi. I would love to be able to finish Kakaishi this year. Um, the chances of that happening are pretty low because I don't like to buy online, as we all know. Uh, and yeah, Kakaishi is 100% out of print, especially for the singles. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna have to pray to the manga gods that maybe, just maybe, they'll give me those volumes that I need. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Um, those are just my going over my goals of 2023, kind of doing like a retrospective slash look back on that year and how amazing it was for the channel. Looking on forward to 2024 and hopefully some great stuff is gonna happen. Uh, I can't wait. Um, just looking at <laughs> everything. Uh, now that we're in 2024, I will be celebrating 18 years of collecting manga, which is just like, that is insane to say, uh, just out loud, because I've been collecting for over half my life. It's just wild to think about. Uh, I'm really, really excited. <laughs> way into the future, way in, uh, I believe it's going to be 2026. Yes, 2026 will be my 20th year of collecting manga, so I will 100% be doing a video uh, in that year talking about collecting in general, how 20 years of collecting manga has affected me, where my life is going, where it's been, a lot of thing to do, but that's way too much in the future. We're not going to talk about that now. So yeah, that's been it. If you, you know what to do, you can like, you can comment, you can subscribe. Really, really appreciate that. Uh, you know, you guys are all amazing. It's been so much fun this year making videos, making uh, content in general. You guys make it worth it. So yeah. In the comments, let me know below what are your goals for 2024, whether it's your actual just uh, life goals or your manga goals or anime, blah, blah, blah. Whatever you want, put them in the comments below. I'd love to know what you guys are planning to do for this new year. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Uh, bye bye